Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl. In this problem, we're going to describe and sketch the surface defined by f of xy equals y squared. Now in order to do this, we're going to look at what we call traces. And we're going to start out by looking at the trace along the yz axis. Now why would we do that? Well, if I take a look at my function, I can write this as z equals y squared. Notice that there's no x-coordinate in this particular equation. So that's going to tell me if I look at the yz plane, first of all, I will get a nice amount of information. So let's go ahead and look at the trace or I should say traces in the yz plane. Now when we take traces in the yz plane, we're going to let x be a variety of constants. So let's just try a couple. Let's say that x equals 0. If x equals 0, what does my equation look like? Well, it looks like z equals y squared, which I know is a parabola. So let's come over here to my graph. And remember, x is 0, so I'm not going down the x-axis at all. And I'm going to get a sketch of y equals, or excuse me, z equals y squared. So it's going to look something like that. OK, let's take a look at another trace. Let's see what happens if x equals 1. Plugging x equals 1 into my equation, I have z equals y squared, which is a parabola again, the same parabola. The only difference is this time x is 1. So I've moved out along the x-axis one unit, and I still have the same parabola. Let's try one more. Let's see what happens when x equals 2. Again, my equation is z equals y squared. Same parabola. It's just that I've now moved out to x equals 2 on my x-axis, and I have the same parabola. And you can see that if I continue to take other values of x, both positive and negative, I'm going to continue to get that same parabola. So I have all these parabolas stacked going up and down the x-axis. OK, well that gives me an idea of what's happening in the yz plane. Now let's go ahead and look at a trace in the xy plane. So again, if I'm looking at a trace in the xy plane, I'm going to be taking planes that are parallel to xy, which is this plane that is lying straight out across from me. All right. So in this case, let's take z to be equal to 0. What happens in that case? Well, if z equals 0, my equation turns into 0 equals y squared. And if 0 equals y squared, I know that y equals 0. So what does that mean exactly? Well, if y equals 0 and I'm in the xy plane, I just have a line that's going along the x-axis. Let's try one more. Let's try z equals 1. If z equals 1, I have 1 equals y squared, which means that y could be plus or minus 1. Again, think of what I'm doing. I'm taking a slice that's parallel to the xy plane. And if I slice this across, I'm going to end up with two lines. One of them when y equals negative 1, which will be over here, and one when y is positive 1, which is going to be over there. OK, one last trace. I've tried the yz plane, the xy plane. I also need a trace. in the xz plane. So if I look at traces in the xz plane, let's take y to equal 0 first of all. If y equals 0, my equation turns into z equals 0 squared, or z equals 0. So again, in the xz plane, think of taking a slice parallel to the xz plane. And if z equals 0, that's going to take me right along that line again. Let's try one more. Let's try y equals 1. If y equals 1, I'm going to have z 
equals 1 squared. Or in other words, z equals 1. And again, think about this. I'm cutting this right along a plane that's parallel to the x, z axis. But I'm going to be doing that when y equals 1. So I'm going to be moving out here. And if I slice straight down, again, I'm going to get just a single line. OK, now I've got a lot of information going on here. What does this picture really look like? Well, as you can see, it's going to look very much like a plane that's been folded so that it's in the shape of a, of a parabola. If you can kind of envision, remember that I have this x drawn out at an angle so that you can see the three-dimensionality of my coordinate system. But in actuality, that x-axis is coming straight out at me. And so I have a plane that's shaped as a parabola coming straight out at me. And that's what this particular surface looks like. I hope that was helpful. Thanks.